Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mob Impressions. Today's game is Spirit Fair. I'm actually pretty excited to play this game. This is a casual uh, resource gathering city management type of game. We first saw this game being announced and released the same day on, um, I forgot the exact day in, in August, but it was the uh, Nintendo Indie Showcase and we did watch that live on stream. So it was cool. I, I downloaded it, but I haven't been able to play it because Mortal, so Mortal Shell came out and it took about like four sessions on stream to beat that. So now we're here. We're going to try this game out for about half an hour to an hour, letting you guys know if it's going to be, you know, your type of game. And if we really like it, we'll make it into a playthrough. So if you want to see more, maybe even a full let's play, just let me know by liking, commenting, and sub arena. So let's jump into it. I'm playing, of course, the, um, of course, oh. My controller died. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So this game uh, was pretty cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks or 29.99. Uh, it wasn't that expensive. I'm switching batteries, and I got the uh, Switch version because they did show it off on the uh, indie showcase. Uh, this thing is on Steam, and awesomely enough, I looked over there, and there there was a really, really high amount of good reviews. So I'm excited to jump on in. Let's get started. Hopefully these batteries are good. Okay, I should probably plug in, while this is loading, I'll plug in my charger for these other batteries. Okay. Yeah. Other batteries are bringing charge. So this is like a, a relaxing game. That's what, that's what like the feeling I'm getting. It's nice and chill. If I'm covering anything with a camera, I'll definitely let you know. Okay, so Spiritfarer, I think it's about like death and you helping people cope with it or something like that. Uh, finally. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. We did. How ironic that would have been, would it not? Whoa, I'm Charon. Or Charon. The Spirit Fairer. Oh, he's the Spirit Fairer. Well, that is what I have been until you arrived. That's me? I'm the Spirit Fairer? I cannot say I'm sad to leave, but I still have a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Ooh, nice hat. St Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Aww. Daffodil. I see. You two shall share the burden then. And take it from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. Your task kill will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits on the island, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last request and be at their service until their last breath. It's pretty deep, dude. It's a big responsibility. The big round bridge is the ever door. The alpha where everything starts. The omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. Cool. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Oh, damn. Here we go. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight, the symbol of your status here and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you? <laughs> where did Daffodil go? Are you st what the hell? <laughs> He's stealing stuff? Oh, how highly inappropriate. Monk a daffodil. Oh, well, that settles it. Did she steal one as well? The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. He also took one. It will, it will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Very interesting. You know, I have a feeling that even though we're going to be helping other spirits, I bet there's going to be like some really emotional moments or something where you learn about your character and why you're becoming one of these spirit fairers. At least I hope so. That'd, that'd be pretty let down if you're just the character and nothing happens with you. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of the lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to the place. Accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit fairers after all. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. My ship? 
Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I'm gone. I, I got a cool ship here, tiny little canoe. <laughs> you might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. Okay, so that's our story. Let's get started. It's pretty cool. I like the art style. He's dying. No, Charon. No. This reminds me of the episode of Family Guy where Death like breaks his leg or something. And then Peter has to go take over Death. I like that episode. Oh, look at that. A spirit ore. Oh, nice. Going to the city. Going down Alabama. And my sippy. Nice loading screen. Oh, uh, so my character's name is Stella. And the dog is Daffodils. Oh, here I am. Oh, I can move. All right, here we go. A little bit of a delay when you start up. All right, let's go. B to jump. Hold it to go even higher. Hold up to climb through platforms. Nice. And it could drop like this. Right here. Who's this guy? Press A to interact. A. Who's this guy? Stella. It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. <laughs> you look good. And daffodils here too. Yeah, well, we'll have to find a lit roller then. Who is this guy? Uh, it might not be that obvious after all. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. But if you hear that means... Oh, does our character not have a voice? Oh, you are the new spirit fair. You are the one replacing Sharon. I was trying to get rid of my... I think definitely the left person is talking, but then the speech bubble was pointing at my character. I was trying to get rid of him. Rid of him and ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for a week, living off sardines and cig cigarettes. Uh, weird. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble. I can see you have a Neverlight now. Mm. Of course. See that boat over there? So we're learning a little bit. This is weird. So this is not like a... Oh, look at this boat. This is not a surprise to Stella and this freaking Gwen mm -hmm. friend. Yeah, see, that's the one. Mm -hmm. Look at that shadow above me, by the way. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work since you're a spirit fairer. Okay, meet me on the deck. I'll explain it all. Who is this thing that was here? Look at that. Weird. Here we go. This is my boat. The going merry. Let's do it. Over here. Okay, here it goes. Hope, hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. <gasps> They're transforming. What's happening? Hello? Furries? Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So, the way I see it, the boat is yours, don't you think? Good. As you're the spirit fairer, welcome. Welcoming stray spirits is your new job, and once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. Okay. Talk, food, give, hug, mood. Okay, there's a hug. <gasps> <laughs> cool watch style though. Really, really sleek. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. I can't walk or anything. Like, it, it, it's one speed. You can't like slow down and stuff. Oh no. What a mess. It reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Or vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At a rate, we should do we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. There is only one way. You have to meet Albert. He's your local shipwright. Frankie? And his jokes are garbage. But he is the only one who can fix the boat. Mm -hmm. But we should head to Albert's shipyard. If, if you guys are wondering about my hair. It's really hot here in California right now. So I have this um, fan blowing on me 24-7. I hope it's not like you can't hear anything from the mic. You must be wondering how to make the ship move. It's pretty easy. Let me give you this key. It will unlock the cabin door. You should find a map projector. How do I know? Well, I was planning an escape, and you know me. I plan things really well. Very well. Go open up the cabin. The map projector should be simple enough to use to get to Albert's. Key. Okay, here we go. That's the cabin. Press, what is it, start? Oh, select. Select. Man, games don't do start and select anymore, huh? It's like plus, minus, back. That's so weird. Set sail, captain. Start your boat. Upgrades and shenanigans? Shenanigans, okay. Okay, let's start the boat. 
Whoa, Alt Harbor. That's where we are? Cool. This is Albert Shipyard. So I can zoom in, zoom out, set a destination. So here we go. That's where we're going. Oh, it's going right away? Stella, what up? Yeah. As I understand, the ship is empowered by my Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean. It also explains why I couldn't do anything. I must admit, it's fascinating. Look, you must be overwhelmed. Sharon, the Everdor, the Spiritfarers. It's a lot. You must be wondering what's going on. I don't really know either, but I'm here. I'll do my best to help you. As I said before, I wanted to leave, but I just couldn't. Now I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Explore the ship. You can give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Fishing rod? Oh! Oh, nice! What do I do? Do I animal crossing it? Do I just wait? Oh, there we go. Oh, hold it. Yes. What is this on the top left? You think that's the destination point? Herring. Oh, nice. I got a herring. Alright, how do I get out? Um, that might just be the destination. Like, chilling and just... Yeah, it might be. What's this? Cool. Okay, so uh, once Albert's here, we can fix this up. Nice. Very cool. Can I jump in the water? I'm gonna try. Get away, bird. Woohoo! Uh, leave the boat. It stops. It will restart once everyone's back on board. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. So there's not really much else to do but chill and wait for the, um... Well, let me talk to death. Food? No items available. Food? Talk hug mood. Favorite food? Random. Dislikes random. And it looks like there's moods. Optimistic and was recently hugged. Mood perk. Shops for fiber. Shops for thread. L uses the loom. Shops? Mood perk. Oh, I see. It looks like you keep people happy and then they have uh, automatic passives or something that helps you. So once we get her to the next level up of happiness, she uses the loom. Whatever that means in this game. I'll hug you again. I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You don't want to hug? Fine. All right. We're here at Albert's, huh? Oh. The shipyard is discovered. Cool. Go on. Guess I go talk to Gwen Gwenarino. Oops. Oh, here we go. Fishing. Small, unambitious fish. 15 money? Is that our currency? Stella for Kevin. Hey. Cool. Now head down to Albert's and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear the clutter. Cool. Okay, let's go. So how do you leave? Set sail, Captain. I go back in here. I get out. Oh, here we go. Set sail. Nice, Sue. Let's get out of here. Nice chill experience so far. I think Albert's a giant shark. Yeah, he is. Over here. Welcome to my shipyard, where my prices are a customer's best friends. I'm Albert. Been in the business for ages. You're the new spirit fair? Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. So you're able to bring the ship here after all. Gwen was right. Let me see what you got here. Nice. Funny, it looks like the one I built a while ago. See, Sean was unhappy about his dank arc. He was complaining about everything, but the customer's always right. So I built him a newer one. And of course, he would never abandon the previous one. Old habits die hard. You can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. Let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here? Don't worry. We're still working on it. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Uh, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. First thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. It's your lucky day. I'm feeling generous. Here you go. Free of charge. It's a bit bare bones, but the subsequent upgrades will come at a small price. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Interesting. Okay, let's talk about this. Can I hug? <laughs> talk. Welcome to the shipyard. Okay. Upgrade. Wow. Okay, so there's three tabs here. Blueprint station here. This is boat size. I'm covering it with my camera. Don't worry about it. And the boat improvements. So right now we have uh, one, two, three, four, five. Looks like it costs simply money or the currency here. This is a small size. And the next one up is medium. Boat improvements. We get a mailbox icebreaker. 
Uh, what's this? Hermes hams. Okay, cool. So here it is. The blueprint station costs zero to get it. We unlock the guest house, the garden, the field, and the kitchen. And the next is the hobbyist. Oh, this one requires resources. It looks like logs and whatever that... Oh, limestone. It says it on the bottom. I'm dumb. Uh, 400 bucks for that. Okay, we got it. It's weird how back is Y. It's not like the B button. It's a little weird. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel it's getting too crowded. Cheers. Okay, bye. So now we can probably use... Go to our cabin and then edit the boat. Nice. So this is where the, the city management comes by. We can, uh, you know, mess around with our boat, right? Good. Albert gave it to you for free. He said he'll loan ship. Yeah. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind. Anyway, let's focus on the task. Cleaning up. You can go to your new blueprint table above the cabin and select move. You'll get rid of buildings and get any resources. Go ahead. Okay. So we go in. Oh, wait. On top of the cabin. Not inside. Here we go. Okay, we can edit. Oh my god. Okay. Yes. Edit. Oh god. Can you zoom in? Okay, uh, X to salvage. Okay, we salvage everything. We get 20 maple, empty bottles, old shoes, and carpet. Boom. Okay, so we got rid of everything there. Awesome. Okay, so underneath my camera, there's a tab that just says edit. There's a lot of other ones that are grayed out, but we just have the edit one for now. I might move my camera. Maybe on the top left. Yeah, let's go top left. But not all the way up, because there's like a progress bar. Okay, wonderful. You did a wonderful job. The good news is you have enough resources that a guest house necessary. When newly welcomed spirits will have a temporary place to sleep. Well, kind of. I can tell you for sure, no one will be through to spell the night more than one night here. It beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the woods is stiff. I'll leave it to you. Have fun. Okay, set sail. That's our quest, set sail. So, request. Build the guest house. Hobbyist. Blueprint table, shenanigans. Okay. You want another hug? <laughs> I wonder how long the, the hug cooldown is. If it's time based or if you have to actually do some actions. Okay, we have build and edit. Of course we'll build. Okay, check it out. This is a field. Your cereal seeds will grow into plants. We need we don't have any limestone. This is a garden for veggie seeds. Lightning in a bottle. What the hell? Here it is a kitchen. Bright jelly. And there's different other tab here. There's there's three tabs. Uh Workstation, housing, and whatever. I'm covering more stuff again, dude. Sorry, guys. Like, I, I, you know, every time we start a new game, I gotta figure out where is the best place to put the camera. You know? It's kind of hard to figure it out. Okay. Um. Okay, so here we go. Great guest house. Oh, can I build it up? Wow, you can build it all the way up here. Jeez. All right, let's put them here at the beginning of the boat. Jesus Christ. You can only build one of these. All right, we got it. Nice. Woo! Welcome to the guest house. Very nice. Can I go in? Woo! My house. My house now. Interesting. Ah, this is the guest house. Is pretty. It has your touch. Nice work. Alas, I have a place to sit. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah. I should have expected. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am? But you're good at it. You might have fished some fishes. I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I'll probably choke on the fish bone. That's not how you want me to go. So you should keep on using the blueprint to build a kitchen. I've seen plans for it in there as well as the resources. Damn. But you need jelly. And there's only one way to get some. I, Look, I should have told you. Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence. A void. I can take many forms. Mm -hmm. It's jellyfish. I'm fully aware of the irony. Bright jelly. You need jellyfish. So there's no other option. I have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can do it. They appear as a dark patch of pure fear on the map. <laughs> on the map. I'll take some time to prepare myself on the map. So that means I have to go here. So I have to find dark patches on the map. Wow. Look at this. 
What, what the hell is this? They want me to go here first, I guess, huh? These must be your... Hey, crates! We get resources. How big is this map? How do you zoom out? Adequate sized map. Oh, right, here we go. Let's go to the jellyfish. Jellyfishing! Okay. While it's doing its thing, I, I guess I'll be fishing, right? There's nothing else I could be doing. I guess once I have more workstations, I can be like, you know, farming and doing a bunch of other stuff. But for now, it looks like we're going to be fishing. I don't know how to get um, the currency we need. Maybe we sell. Oh, yeah, to hold it. Maybe we sell stuff or maybe you get them just by keeping your residents happy. Mm, mixture of both. Another herring. A spirit fishing rod, dude. Ah, that's so chill. What's that? I got a shoe. Nice. Maybe if I get enough, I can turn it into a gigantic, huge, mega shoe, and we can make it another guest house. Look, the horizon is turning orange. Nighttime is a coming. Another heron. I feel like you might be able to upgrade your um, your fishing rod to get better fish. <gasps> oh, we're here. We're here. This is terrible. This place looks absolutely... She wasn't kidding about the fear portion, dude. What the hell? Oh, God. Damn. Here they come. Set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. Pop as many as you can. Wait, how, what do you, how do you pop? What? Wait, what do I do? Is it just platforming? What's going on? Here they come. Do I just touch it? Ah, oh, yes. Uh. Okay. Looks like it's just a little mini game here. I don't think they can hurt me. So these things give me glimmer. And the green ones give me the jelly. Oh! Oh no! Give me that! And the jelly is the one you need as a resource. Oh wow! Whoa, dude, I can freaking jump on the side of my house here. This is as high as I can go. Woo! Oh my god, that's cool! And the music! I bring it. So this is a way to get glimmer, huh? Just by hanging out, chilling, and got it. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have like some sort of double. Oh God! Oh my God! Woo! Gimme, gimme, gimme! That was cool. All right. Woo! No, 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 no! <laughs> I have three already. I hope that's enough. That was a big one. Very cool. I have, like, a double jump. If I double tap A quickly, coming off this, I can get a double jump. Wow. Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there, tumbling and diving. And without the slightest fear of hesitation, you haven't lost your touch. And you haven't gathered enough? Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Slowly digesting myself. Oops. Wrong place. Okay, blueprints, huh? Okay. Build. Greenhouse. Ooh, greenhouse. Yes, house, sorry. The kitchen. Hmm. Hmm. Put the kitchen up here? Kitchen! Right above someone's house? <laughs> That's really weird. Um. Can I swap? Uh, can I easily move things around? Okay. Mm, edit. Select. Yes. I want to put the kitchen on the very like, bottom. Can I put this on top of it? Ooh, I like that. The kitchen down there. Alright. We're good. Looking good. Yes. And it gives me much more higher elevation, you know? For like doing jellyfish stuff here. Woo! Dang, twisting and turning. 
Lovely oh. kitchen. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be simple. Put any one ingredient and wait. You can try loose corn kernels. <laughs> I can't wait to see your cooking glory again. You got this. She did give me corn. All right. Let me in, ho. <gasps> Here's the kitchen. Cook. Wait, what's this other one? Cook or recipes. Ooh. Oh, a lot of food. Okay. Cook. So we have corn. Corn is a golden grain. Tons of uses. Sometimes corny, Kappa. Can be grounded into flour in a windmill or cook on its own. Here's a herring. And what the hell? Why do you want to do that? All right, we'll do a cook. Cook. It's like a microwave. Nice. Popcorn. Cook again? Can you put multiple? You can. That's good. It probably takes longer. I think that's it's taking longer. So you could probably get like 20 and then put it in there and then go do something else while it's cooking. Cool. Oh, that one's taking forever to cook. Yeah, we'll leave that thing. All right, what's up? Mm -hmm. I can eat anything. Just give me some food. Food. Popcorn. Meal size snack. Dish is a comfort. Give. Mm -hmm. Well, I won't die just yet. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Stella. You've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal. It'll be up to you to understand who wants what. I've always loved comfort food. And I would die for a cup of coffee. So we have to learn everyone's personalities. Fun. I'm not that picky. I just never eat the same thing twice. Oh, well, before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. It was an obol, a symbol of passage. It's a fee we have to pay you. An obol is the currency. Let's keep on improving the craft. Here in your blueprint is a field and a garden. You can grow many things. Turn the ship into a farm. Add a field first. It's going to be easier to find the resources. And you can grow flax, which will be used to craft more things. Then build a field mm -hmm. for seeds. But that will come later. I'll need you to visit an island close by. It's called the Mostin Cove. Mm. I'll tell you when we get there. Stella, she wants to talk to me again. Mm. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, the boat stops at night. It's a side effect of ever being well light or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. It will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or chill on the deck. Go to sleep, too. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me. Waking up has never mm -hmm. been my forte. You can ring the bell to wake people up. Only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Around 7 a.m. Speaking of sleep, I time to take a nap. Mm -hmm. She says only do it. You think people get pissed? Or maybe they just don't respond. Yeah, my fish? My fish is not good. Seats for the future request. So here it is. Build a field and head to Mostine Cave. So let's see what we need to build ourselves that field. I need more logs and limestone. Well, the limestone might be in that cave she's talking about. Makes sense. Okay, so let's go and pass the time by going in here. And I'm pretty sure going up here, right? Sleep until morning. Yes. Nice. Very chill. Uh, very cool. <laughs> Ding! I think my uh, fish is done. It's probably a little cold, but can't be picky. Okay. Ah, this is so chill. I like it. Press L t L to toggle. Nice. Is that morning time? Here it comes. I'm gonna get one fish. Let's do. Let's do one early fishing. Ah. Let's watch the sun rise together, guys. Very cool. Ah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do like two to three fish every single morning. I think that'd be nice. So, looks like getting jellyfish obols? Was that the name of the currency? And also just giving food to these guys. Provide obols. That's pretty nice. Nothing but straight herrings. What the hell? Alright, let's go get my fish. Hmm. 
No, grilled fish. And cook even more. This maple log's in here. But I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna hold on. I guess I'll put it there. That's a that's a weird cooking. Like, what am I gonna get out of that coal? Weird. Ah. Let's say good morning. Oops. Good morning. The hell, dude? God. Oh my God. What? Oh, I guess he can't talk to her in the house. So we gotta do this. Come on out. Good morning. Here's a hug. Hmm. Hug me back. Hmm. Pet my cat. Here's some food. Small and plain. She doesn't like. That. She definitely wants this. Please, I can't eat the same thing twice. Twice? What do you mean, like twice in a row? She likes it, but she doesn't love it. Mood. Ah, nice. Hates was recently hug. Optimistic. All right. Don't ask me how. I've met Albert already. He's a shark, but his interest will help all things maritime, such as the boat upgrades. With those, you're able to cross the ominous weather barriers. Like a mythical challenge. Okay. So we're not actually going anywhere. So let's, let's let's fix that. Damn, I should always choose my destination before like just messing around, huh? Okay, we gotta go to this island. The Mostine Cove. We're on our way. Nice. Stella, what's up? You know, I'm delighted you're here, but I'm not surprised. It adds up. You taking care of me. You've already cared so much about others. Always protected those. Even pedantic snogs. Remember the day my father yelled at the cats? She's smoking? We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers. And there you were yelling back at my father. <laughs> father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. Hmm, interesting. Alright, well. Nothing else to do but fish. You know, a game I also want to play. This reminds me of Raft. I've always wanted to play it, but it's still in early access, right? I really want to wait until it's completely done. I did that with Subnautica. You know, instead of playing it when it was early access, actually waiting. Oops. Actually waiting until it's done, you get a much better finished experience rather than getting burnt out on the game. Like, I don't want to play Raft for like 20 hours and then get burnt out, and then the game is like, oh, we're done. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play like. 10% new content, you know? I don't want to do that. So I think primarily I want to wait, you know? Let's go in here. Um, it is going to be bad, isn't it? Cold! You do get cold! Nice! Nice. I knew it! Look at that! Mosting Cove is discovered! We're going to go travel on an island now. Awesome. That took forever to do that, Cole. I, mean, I hope we get more kitchens. Mm -hmm. We should hop on the island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Okay, I will. Are you coming with me? Just kidding. Peace out. Bye. <laughs> Let's go, Daffodil. What, is she here already? What the hell is this? Empty bottle, medium bottle. Did I just pick up the recycling here? Mm. What majestic tree? We can cut it down. It's fine. The best way to get wood. Don't worry. They regrow. Another interesting fact about Everlight. Ha! <laughs> okay. Oh, do I have to choose? I have to go left and right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Mario Party. Land ho! How many? Ooh, I got eight. Well done. Congrats. You've become death of the story of worlds, jokes aside. Mm -hmm. Go on ahead. Well, we can go back to the boat and build a field with all the maple logs. We need more stuff. Oh, you can grab these two? Raspberries. Okay. Okay, what? Oh, big boy. The big boy tree. Nice. <laughs> I like how the little dog is just floating in there. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh. Secret? 
Hmm. Is this the mate? Is this the limestone? Hold A as long as possible. Oh, you gotta let go. My bad. No, it's a million limestone. Nice. Is that it for the island? Hmm, guess that's it. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the little daffodil behind me. We got a lot of wood and a ton of limestone and some raspberries. Coolios. I guess that's it. Not much else to do here. So I don't think there's going to be any combat or anything in this game. It's just all about exploration, gathering resources. Very, very chill. I'm really excited uh, to, you know, learn about this character's past, though. I think they're all going to be, like, characters that she knows, you know? IRL. IRL. Uh, hug again? All right. Okay. Later, ho. We're out of here. Let's build that farm. Field. Field, right? Field. Hmm. Okay. Here we are. Build. It is a field. Wow. I want to build on the first floor. I think we can do multiple of these. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, oh god, it fell. My fish is done. Put some raspberries in here, huh? Nice. Cook. They are berries. They can they can be eaten fresh. Yeah, whatever. We're cooking them. Woo. Ah, better looking than I thought. There's a little je, je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but eloquent. Now, plant some field seeds. Seeds can grow. Garden seeds won't grow in the field. Mm -hmm. But you know, I would kill a plactus. A pl I would kill a plastic cactus. What? Anyway, there's only one place where we can possibly find what we need. Theodore, mm -hmm. specializing in seeds. There's a town called Hummingbird. Okay, we have to go there. Okay. This world has a serious problem with dubious mm -hmm. practice businesses. I'll come with you. I run to a cheeky raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. So let's head to Hummingbird then. Yes, I will. It's a hummingbird. Here it is on the left. Wow, look at all this other stuff. Well, we should definitely just do the quest until you know they give us free reign to go do stuff, and then we'll you know mess around. Can't do anything with the field just yet. All right, so we're just gonna fish again. Hmm. Very chill. Can I get anything else but a herring, though? I have to be able to, right? Maybe we have to go to like East Blue, All Blue. The grand line. Hmm. It's okay if it's all the same fish. At least we're collecting them, right? I hope I'm able to just sell all the extra stuff because it looks like my NPCs are on a timer for what they want to eat and what they don't want to eat. So, you know, if I have like a million extra fish, I hope I can sell it. Okay, so we're just waiting for the the bar in the top left, of course. Let's see what this town's all about, though. Mm -hmm. Yoinks! I got another sh Oh, I haven't collecting shoes. Weird. All right, we're here. Hell yeah! Yeehaw! Woo! Hummingbug! Yes. I see. Oh. You know, that one place we were just at. What was it? Mosswind Cave or something? I don't see any caves. <laughs> oh. Here we are. Can I pick up these berries? Hi, I'm out here looking for the right house. My wife sent me out to find something. A garden, maybe a pool. I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. You can't help me when it helps to say it out loud. 
if I might stumble upon the rarest of finds. Why, why do they have glowing on them? What the hell? Oh, let me guess. A bit of a psychic. Your name is Mary or Margaret or it's Missy. <laughs> Wait, no, Ash. Don't tell me it's. Oh, shoot. I'll get it someday. All right, screw these guys. Whatever. I can go in the houses. Wait, what? Well, I'm stealing shit. I got seeds. Nice, get wrecked. Can I climb up here? Whoa! Woo! Going down the chimney! I don't know. Can I go in? Cool. Time to steal! Got lots of seeds, homie. How do I go down? What happened? I'm, am I sitting on something? How do I get out? Okay, better hurry. It's getting nighttime. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Take a good look at the shrine. It's simply stunning. Some objects are meant to be resonate with the spirit cool. fair. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance your Everlight. Two slots need to fill up. You can use obols to activate it. So you need to welcome more spirits. I'm sure you'll find more lost souls like me. Really? Double jump. One of two obols. Oh, so the currency I'm using are not obols. There's another currency. Wow, double jump. Sounds really useful. Well, it's gonna be night, but what the hell's that up there? Can I get up there? I think we need the double jump to get up there. Or I can climb on the ropes. It's really dark. Here's the shop. There's Theodore. Oh my god, look at this guy. Go ahead, take a look. Talk, buy, sell. I can sell! Nice. Limestone. Hey, get my fish. The fish are so easy to catch. Go ahead, take them. Talk. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to the Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing hummingbirds since forever. You got the glimpse, I got the goods. I've got the wares. Step right up. Okay, he has a key for hummingbird. This key opens the door next to the broken ladder. 500,000. Okay, they want me to buy corn and coffee. I can buy herrings. Oh, look, this is a buyback option. Limestones are 14,000? Why? Why? You find them so easy. Why would they be so expensive? What the hell? They're too expensive. Everything is expensive. Mm. Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away. Are you ready? Mm. Let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing. You should be ashamed of yourself, mm. you trash panda. We're the reason people have middle fingers. I <laughs> got him. Madam, what's the meeting? Mm. My friend here is a new spirit bearer. She's not a noob, and mm. neither am I. The scam won't work. But I, I can assure you, business practices are above board. Mm. Be warned, your treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses. Fair prices. Stop being dishonest. And next time, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter, got it? Damn. But yes, yes, of course, I promise I'll adjust my prices. Don't scold me. I'll even give you a discount. Who's that? Hey, you. Yes, your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hell. You both like, you can join the upstairs crew. Want to come up? Upstairs. I see in your eyes. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited though. Some idiot broke the ladder. I, you have to jump super high to get it. I guess I could also use the stairs in the house, but some idiot lost the key. Anyway, later, upstairs through forever. 5,000, much better. There you go. Oh, limestone, nice. Okay, we're gonna buy some seeds. Looks like, um, too bad it doesn't say how much I, I own. You know, I don't. I don't. I don't know what's it. I. I guess I'll just buy a bunch. I, I don't. Okay, fantastic. If you got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. Meet you at the pier. All right, guys. Saving. Go I think it's a good place to end this one here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot. If you haven't already sub for daily videos, let me know. If you guys like this game, enough for me to maybe do more episodes. If not, hey, cool little one-off. I'll probably play more on my own. Or I might just do some. 
a little bit more but definitely let me know so thanks for being thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time